So the other day I was, since tomorrow we have the crewed SpaceX cargo dragon mission. And for, I was looking at this picture and I was wondering why it designed this way. And we all know the Russian Soyuz has been, we have been used, we have to rely on Soyuz for quite a while after retirement of Space Shuttle. And it kind of dawned on me one, one day to realize we, I had always know the Soyuz is very cramped, but it's a reliable and has been used for many times. And this is how inside the Crew Dragon look like. Very spacious and looking futuristic. Uh, what I will say may seem obvious, but I haven't really found other people mention this. So I will try to give my two cents. The reason the reason why the Soyu is so cramped because um, first of all if the crew dragon doesn't need a fairing because this is the exact shape is sitting on top of the Falcon 9 rocket and compared to the Soyuz, which this picture will give a clear view. It has an outer fairing to protect it. Uh, uh, because this irregular shape is not very aerodynamic when you try to launch and pushing through atmosphere at very high speed. So you need this fairing to protect it. Once you reach the outer space, the fairing will open and then discard it. So you can see then there's a, quite a gap between the, shell, the fairing and the actual spacecraft. And these are the wasted space. So you can see a lot of wasted space. However, if you have these as a able to use all this space that will be like the crew dragon or like a apollo capsule then it will be you'll be much roomier inside so seems obvious right but i, I haven't really seen people mention it so there's a, actually a discussion on cora this is where i found a picture they someone asked how they get in how they get in the spacecraft so there's a hatch on the fairing and then you get in from here that's an interesting question i did not think about that so same as the apollos so the outer sh outer surface of the spacecraft is the I wouldn't know I don't know what's the right term meaning it doesn't require fairing so it can maximize the internal space. Another thing I noticed would be this nose cone is hinged here, and I did wonder why. So. I guess in Apollo, this would be just jettison and discard it, but I think Crew Dragon is reusable, so they probably want... And I also search up, it says it's landing on the ocean, splashdown. So they might want to close it, not only to reuse this nose cone, and to protect probably their camera or alignment things on here. You probably don't want to touch the seawater, so for protection and reusing.
also notice the well everybody know this is instead of having like the Apollo ejection tower on top the crew dragon have the ejection rocket at the sides so here probably in Apollo then when they remove this when they discard the launch escape system the the nose cone will be discarded and won't be able to reuse and another thing I thought of the advantage of having Soyuz like this as you it has many things sticking out there's the the tip at the front here that helps it, the drogue drogue system help it catch and align when it docks and there's also a periscope oh, then let's go here oh, a periscope to help astronauts look in the front and there's an antenna here to help align so many things sticking out so I imagine the advantage of this designing like Soyuz is you can adapt quickly you can have different things sticking out and it will still work because you remember that many gap inside the fairing however this crew dragon very futuristic and very smooth surface nothing sticking out but if you want to change something it will be more difficult because you have to make sure uh, you may have to change the structure the outer surfaces and make sure everything packaged correctly inside so that's the pros and cons And the advantage of this system is probably also cheaper because um, you just have to make a shell and you make your design spacecraft inside. I think there's always uh, both sides people will stand for either side there are some will say the Soyuz is reliable and a workhorse but some people may say it's uh, outdated and old and I I can see both sides of the argument but I think um, just because something is work well and continually work continually improve over the years doesn't mean we should stop being innovate and have a clean sheet design and so far we see a lot of innovation coming from america and this this crew dragon is a new innovative design and when we have something new we can always learn what work and what doesn't work and improve for the future like space shuttle retrospect in retrospect people complain will say it's too costly doesn't achieve the original goal of re reusable space plane but it doesn't mean we didn't we haven't learned anything from the shuttle program.